Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender, Book 2, Episode 1. Really excited to hop into Book 2. This one's going to be covering earthbending, and I'd assume Aang's journey to mastering earthbending, while he still has to master waterbending along the way from Katara. I really enjoyed Book 1, but in a way it felt like it was only setting up the following books. And I have a feeling the show's only going to get better and better from here, which some of you in the comments have told me as well. So that just gets me very excited to continue watching. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's get into the episode. Wait, what the heck? <sighs> this is like a flashback when he was at the air temple. It's him looking at all the times he went glow mode. Which I think is officially called the Avatar State, right? I just call it glow mode for fun. Okay, so it was a dream. Do you want to talk about it? Nah, just a nightmare. I was in the Avatar State. I was scary. He's scared of himself when he's in there. Katara. I want you to have this. This amulet contains water from the spirit oasis. The water has unique properties. Don't lose it. That sounds interesting. Rolls will help you master waterbending. They're no substitute for a real master. Okay, so learn from Katara and the scrolls. Take care, son. <laughs> Come on. Straight to the Earth Kingdom base to the east of here. General Fong will provide you with an escort to Omashu to begin your earthbending training with King Bumi. Oh, he's going to learn with Boomy? Makes sense, but... Are we going to actually get to learn earthbending a lot faster this season? Who knew floating on a piece of driftwood for three weeks with no food or water <laughs> could make one so tense? So they're just on the run now. Three years ago today, I was banished. I lost it all. I want it back. I want the Avatar. I want my honor. I don't even know if that will give that to you. Why would he banish you if he didn't care? <laughs> Ooh, that came out wrong, didn't it? Little bit. Are we gonna see more of Ozai this season? That's a uh, daughter. You may have mixed feelings about attacking members of the royal family, but I assure you, if you hesitate, I will not hesitate to bring you down. Wow, she's brutal. Tides will not allow us to bring the ship into port before nightfall. I'm sorry, Captain. Can you explain something to me? Okay. Do the tides command this ship? And uh, they actually do. No princess. And if I were to have you thrown overboard, would the tide? Oh my god. Twice about smashing you against the rocky shore? No. Well then, maybe you should worry less about the tides and worry more about me, who's still mulling it over. She's a psycho. Welcome, Avatar Ang. <laughs> Brave Sokka, the mighty Katara. <laughs> mighty Katara? I like that. Mighty Katara. Drawing some attention to yourself. <laughs> we were all amazed at the stories of how you single-handedly wiped out an entire Fire Navy fleet at the North Pole. I can't imagine what it feels like to wield such devastating power. I try not to think about it too much. <laughs> Avatar, you're ready to face the Fire Lord now. What? What? No, he's not still needs to master all four elements why with the kind of power he possesses power enough to destroy hundreds of battleships in a matter of minutes they're trying to rush him and can only do those things when he's in the avatar state it's the special state where i'm well aware this guy's being terrible i don't know how to get in or out of the avatar state much less what to do once i'm there so it's decided then this guy's dumb no, nothing's decided. Aang's pursuing his destiny his way. While you take your time learning the elements, the war goes on. It is what it is. And those soldiers are the lucky ones. Every day the Fire Nation takes lives. People are dying, Aang. You could end it. Now. I don't know if he could. So much pressure on Aang. I feel like he has to master all the elements to be able to control the Avatar state. Whoa. She has lightning power. Okay, she's awesome. One hair out of place. Almost isn't good enough. What? The, that hair made it not perfect? Didn't expect fire people to have lightning powers. Have you thought about our discussion? I'm in. No. I'll fight the fire lord. He's gonna fight him too early and mess it up. Aang, 
no, this is not the right way. Why not? Remember when you took out the fire navy? Practice, study, and discipline. Or just glow it up and stop that fire lord. Angel and devil. Fine, go ahead and glow it up. <laughs> I don't have time to do this the right way. I don't know. Jumping too early could cost more lives than waiting. In an ordinary warrior, it improves strength and energy tenfold. It may induce the avatar state. Tenfold energy, huh? Just a Red Bull. Is it working? Is it working? I can't tell. <laughs> tell me if I'm in the avatar state because I don't. Have God dang it. Am I talking too loud? Uh. I guess he could talk the Fire Lord to death. <laughs> Maybe I can shock you into the avatar state. <laughs> oh my God. Still not glowing. Nothing's gonna work. You are wearing a ceremonial piece of clothing from each of the bending nation. <laughs> now I will join the four elements into one. Water, earth. It's gonna make mud. Elements together as one. <laughs> this is just mud. Do you feel anything? No. <laughs> nice. You can't force it. Not yet. We don't need any more useless things. You forget we have to carry everything ourselves now. Yeah. Hello, brother. Holy crap. That was fast. You doing here? I've come with a message from home. Father's changed his mind. Family is suddenly very important to him. Mm-hmm. He wants you home. I think this is going to work. You should be happy. I just gave you great news. Brother simply needs a moment. Don't interrupt, uncle. Oh, my God. I still haven't heard my thank you. Father regrets? He... Wants me back? Don't fall for it. I'm not saying the Avatar state doesn't have incredible and helpful power, but watching you be in that much rage and pain is really scary. I'm really glad you told me that. <laughs> but I still need to do this. I don't understand. Defeating the Fire Lord is the only way to stop this war. I have to try it. I'm not coming tomorrow. Yeah, this is a really tough situation for Aang. We're going home after three long years. It's unbelievable. He's falling for it. I have never known my brother to regret anything. He cares about me. Can't blame him, but... I think it may not be for the reasons you imagine. You don't know how my father feels about me. You don't know anything. Oh my god. Things are not always what they seem. I think you are exactly what you seem. A lazy, mistrustful, shallow old man. He's gonna turn away the one person that actually cares for you. That's his story arc this season. <laughs> Whoa. This was one of the first times you went glow mode. Sokka, I don't think we should be trying to bring on the Avatar state. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll be mad. What can he say? You're the Avatar. Who knows better than you? I don't think you should do it. Don't leave without me. You've changed your mind. Family sticks together, right? He's got to protect him. We're finally going home. Iroh's not dumb. I can only reach the Avatar state when I'm in genuine danger. I see. I was afraid you'd say oh that. Oh god. What are they gonna do now? <laughs> hey! This isn't gonna be enough danger. Men! Attack the Avatar! But it's just gonna turn against you guys then. It's not gonna just automatically be on your side. Are you crazy? You gotta bring out your awesome dodging skills. I believe we are about to get results. Wasn't he supposed to go meet Boomy? Why is he with these guys? I won't fight you! Oh. That was clutch. Oh god. Where's Katara? It's gotta get Appa and get out of here or something. <laughs> Yeah, you could probably run longer than you could fight. What are they gonna do to him? Welcome. Set our course for home, Captain. You heard the princess. Raise the anchors. We're taking the prisoners home. Oh, there we go. Freudian slip. <laughs> Hi. Run. Yes. You lied to me. Like I've never done that before. <laughs> She's not even gonna bother to fight. I wonder what crazy thing they're trying now. <laughs> Probably should look. Maybe we should just make sure Aang's okay. Good idea. He's trying to force Aang into the Avatar state. <laughs> He's just running around. Maybe you can avoid me, but she can't. Oh god. 
Jump in the ring. Ooh. Is that all our water? I can't move. Don't hurt her. Earth seems pretty strong. Oh god. You could save her if you were in the Avatar state. I'm trying. Oh, the tears. I don't see glowing. This guy's horrible. You don't need to do this. Apparently, I do. Oh. No. When the world, where is she? Holy crap! It worked. It worked. But now you're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> How did you not see this coming, you moron? Whoa, he was using earthbending. Let's go! These soldiers are nothing to Iroh. And Zuko is probably nothing to her. Why would he want you back home, except to lock you up where you can no longer embarrass him? Not a happy family. Ow. She's just dodging. Stare down. She got blue fire. That's cool. Is it electricity or fire? Seems like electricity. Whoa. Iroh's good though. Holy crap. Train the water. Your friend is safe. It was just a trick to trigger the avatar state. And it worked. I don't know how much control he has in there. Oh. This ain't good. Oh. Spirit world? It's time you learn. They're gonna teach him how to do the Avatar State? The Avatar State is a defense mechanism designed to empower you with the skills and knowledge of all the past Avatars. That's what I've been thinking. Sing the energy to your body. That's why he's able to do the powers he can't normally do. You are at your most powerful, but you are also at your most vulnerable. What do you mean? Yeah, how so? You are killed in the Avatar state. The reincarnation cycle will be broken. Whoa. The Avatar will cease to exist. So that's never happened, obviously. Because it's hard to get killed when you're that powerful, but it's risky. It's like Hulk. I hope you never have to see me like that again. That was almost perfect. We just have to find out a way to control you when you're like that. You're out of your mind. <laughs> Guess we'll figure it out on the way to the Fire Nation. <laughs> Thank you. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Still want an escort to Omashu? I think we're all set. What a helpful trip. Anyone who harbors these traitors will face the wrath of the Fire Lord. There will be no place left to hide. Oh boy. I think we're safe here. What is that? Oh, he's gonna cut off his hair. His iconic ponytail. Now, that doesn't really change that much. You're still very noticeable. <laughs> That's the episode. That was a really good start to the season. Feels like the storyline's becoming a lot more higher stake and emotional, which I know I'm definitely going to appreciate. Feels like we're gonna be getting to the Earth Kingdom sooner than expected. Last season, it took us the whole season to get to the Water Nation, so maybe we'll speed that up and have different conflicts this season, which would be nice. Learning a little bit more about the Avatar state was nice. Knowing that it's only a defense mechanism is pretty interesting. I'm seeing a lot of similarities between that and like Bruce Banner becoming Hulk. That's usually only out of defense, but eventually he was able to use it whenever he wanted. So I wonder if that will be a case for this. But a big fact that they told us is that if he's killed during the Avatar state, the whole Avatar bloodline's dead, which really brings high stakes to him being in that state. And it's going to make the fights in the future more exciting. Zuko's storyline continues to be really sad. His sister tricking him into believing that his dad wanted him back. 
And I can't blame him for falling for it, just because that's what he wants so desperately, and any hope of it, he was just gonna cling on to. But it was good Iroh was there to realize what was going on. And they were able to escape, and it seems like they're just gonna continue to be on the run. But Suko's sister is really cool. Having new abilities I've never seen before, with the lightning, and I'm excited to see her fight in the future. But that's all I have to say for this episode. If you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.